I was waiting a few days more for reaching the mileage before to share to you my impressions. This is Koryamone and this is the review of the new Adidas Adios 6 after 100 miles. Welcome back runners, if you are new, I'm Stelvio and this is Kodiamone, community where you can find a lot of passion runners, uh, uh, gear reviews, trainings and a lot of running motivation. If you like the video, please remember to leave a like and consider to subscribe, it is for free and you will support the channel. If you don't want to miss any new video, remember to activate the notification bell here below because I'm not sure that YouTube will propose to you my new video. Before to start, uh, just a quick disclosure. As usual, this is a pair of shoes I bought with my money, so no one is paying me for this review. Say that there are no doubts that uh, the Adidas Adios 6 is a lightweight uh, running shoe, uh, even though it is slightly heavier than uh, the previous version, still remain a shoe of the Adizero family. I run with the uh, new Adios 6 uh, uh, different kind of trainings, uh, uh, slow runs, tempo run, uh, fart leg interval trainings, uh, using always my HRM chest strap uh, from Garmin to collect all the running dynamic metrics. Uh, if you are interested on my uh, data, you can uh, connect with me in uh, Garmin Connect or in Strava, where I usually put all my uh, training in. Don't forget to follow me also in uh, Instagram, where you can find all my daily updates. Starting as usual from the data, I compare the data collected after 100 miles with the data collected uh, at the beginning um, in my first impression uh, uh, video review, which link you can find up here. As usual, I did the five tests that you can uh, see on the left hand side uh, and uh, look into the data. I observed that basically the ground contact time is more or less uh, the same uh, for the different uh, uh, tests and pace, uh, but uh, the shoe is less bouncier than before because the vertical oscillation ratio has uh, uh, lower values uh, at the same pace, uh, so this means uh, better efficiency because as you know uh, more we propel forward instead than vertically uh, more efficient we are in our running moreover i measured uh, again the stiffness of the foam and uh, while uh, for the light strike pro i didn't notice any changes uh, for the light strike in the heel i instead noticed uh, uh, that it is slightly softer and it was also confirmed from the measurement with the durometer because instead of having a 44.5, uh, I had measured 44.1 uh, this time. So I'm not sure um, if it is correct, uh, uh, because it is always a three uh, point estimation. Um, but at least it is an input that uh, confirmed my impressions. There is one strange thing uh, I noticed for the lag strike. Um, please let me know if you notice the same. For instance, the lag strike form used in the um, SL20 version 2 seems to be softer than uh, the Adios 6, uh, even though it is a, a lower uh, stack 8. So, a uh, quite strange feeling. Uh, um, it seems like in some shoes uh, the lag strike form is softer than in other shoes. Uh, but I guess the form used is uh, the same, uh, so I really don't understand. Also now, as already mentioned in the initial review video, the patterns used uh, in the sole collect uh, uh, lots of small stone, uh, even more than expected, I would say. But uh, at the same time, uh, 
The grip is great uh, uh, thanks to the design but also to the continental rubber used. While in the forefoot I didn't notice any signs of wear in the uh, continental rubber. On the other end in the heel we can see that there are already some signs of wear and um, the rubber has pinned. In the first video I mentioned how rigid uh, uh, the sole is in the forefoot uh, and I have to say that uh, uh, it is slightly better uh, but still the feeling is not like the previous uh, uh, version and uh, rather uh, more rigid uh, um, even though the light strike pro. We can even notice that uh, there is not too much difference uh, from the sound test. However, I tried the shoe in uh, Dirty Road and uh, the grip is still okay. Midsole now. Regarding the midsole, uh, as the data collected confirmed, the shoe is less punchier than before, uh, but still responsive. So it is a good behavior uh, which improves the efficiency uh, of the shoe. Um, the last track form, uh, as you can see from the signs of wear, has become a little bit softer uh, in the heel, and of course, in general, the shoe start to be uh, more comfortable. This post light strike pro form in the forefoot has uh, no signs of wear. And then despite I wouldn't have said that uh, because it is softer than uh, the normal ice strike. Uh, the torsion system is full of scratches but is still performing great. Upper now. And now we can talk about the upper. Uh, the single layer mesh uh, is uh, a bit too loose but super breathable and uh, doesn't have any signs of wear and it wasn't deformed uh, uh, during the kilometer. Therefore I was really impressed uh, because uh, the first time I saw it I said okay uh, this uh, won't last longer. Instead it is durable and also super breathable so the foot can keep the right temperature and uh, you know that uh, this can affect uh, uh, the performance positively. The downside of choosing uh, such a uh, uh, great uh, uh, Tokyo colorway um, as you can see is that uh, the shoe will get dirty uh, immediately after a few runs and uh, of course I wasn't doing any uh, trail uh, with this shoe so the Tokyo colorway is uh, great uh, but um, doesn't last longer. For the laces and the lockdown system I confirm that uh, they are working well so the foot is stable and the heel is locked but I also confirm that uh, the shoe doesn't wrap well the foot like uh, the previous uh, uh, version and especially in the change of direction is annoying if you are uh, um, running at a good pace and uh, this shoe is made for running fast. It doesn't have a great rocker in the forefoot so I would suggest different shoes for a long tempo run uh, but they have a great uh, uh, torsion system and uh, a snappy uh, light strike foam uh, which are nice in the interval trainings and uh, also in short distance races like for instance a 5k or a 10k uh, I would not use uh, in the half marathon uh, and even worse in the marathon uh, because uh, the shoe um, it is nappy but it doesn't support the rolling motion uh, which uh, can help in such kind of long races. So in conclusion it is clear that the shoe is not made for long runs, uh, even uh, the rubber in the heel uh, already started to have uh, signs of wear in the few times I used uh, the shoe uh, for long runs. I mean they can be used for long runs uh, especially for lighter runners uh, but I believe there are better options out there uh, for this purpose. The fartlek is another training uh, I appreciated using this shoe, uh, even though during the slow repeats uh, the uh, narrow heel, uh, especially at the end of the training, uh, doesn't help at all in terms of stability, uh, which forces you to land uh, on the mid of the foot, uh, uh, even when you are super tired. So overall it is a good value for money, uh, even if I confirm that uh, I still prefer the previous version. Uh, but I believe I will get use of the new one. In uh, an Adizero uh, Adios shoe, I always look for lightness and control, uh, something which uh, wasn't uh, improved in this shoe. Uh, the shoe is heavier and uh, I found it less stable uh, due to the uh, upper. It seems that Adidas wanted to release uh, uh, another versatile shoe. Uh, closer to the previous version of the Boston model uh, but this is something that uh, I'm not looking for uh, when I want to buy an uh, Adizero uh, Adios 
and if you like the previous model of the Adios, uh, I would suggest to you to have a look on the RC3 model, um, which basically is the same without the boost foam in the heel, and uh, which uh, uh, video review link you can find up here. I'm sure that some of you will have uh, different opinions, and uh, I really like to hear from you in the comment here below. But this is our, my thoughts about the new Adidas Adios 6. This is it, guys, for my 100 miles review. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to leave a like and consider to subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Ciao.